Welcome back everybody. Uh, in this video we're going to be um, covering the waveguide or horn to the compression driver. But first, thanks to all those new subscribers, welcome. Hope you enjoy it, have a bit of fun. You might be able to learn something. Uh, it's a bit of a learning curve. I've done this many times over the years myself, but I don't go into too much depth with Roo. There are all sorts of other things you can do. Um, room simulator, uh, EQ, I'll cover that in a, a different video another time. IR windows where you, you have a gated uh, time exposure to a signal. Uh, but I'll cover that later probably. That's getting probably a bit too technical. All of my videos are aimed at, in effect, the novice sort of just to give them some encouragement uh, give it a try don't be frightened of it uh, but what you see in front of you on the screen is a result this really should be at the other end of the the video this is the result after a little while of tweak 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 and it's better than 1 db all the way across up to here where we hit the compression driver this area here where it just drives drives away but 8 to 10 dB um, but it's still very listenable um, even with that uh, <clears throat> and thank you to all those that have bought me a coffee uh, much appreciated I repeat all the funds would go to buying bits and pieces um, you know solder and speaker terminals screws nuts bolts all that type of thing uh, which is a pain to fund, but um, if you'd like to buy me a cup of coffee, thank you very much. So now I've got this uh, waveguide on the top of this open baffle, and I've moved this compression driver from its location here in the back of this 12 inch up to here to its own waveguide instead of using the cone in the driver. Uh, microphone I've moved up a bit to centralise it, still one metre still one metre away and I'm just going to do a excuse me a little sweep to see how we get on let's see uh, so I haven't changed anything And as you can see, the purple at 700 hertz, there's a dip, there's a rise at 5.6k. So let me just switch this one off. If anything, it's better, it's much better. And what I'm going to do is reduce the gain uh, on this here. We give it three, do you remember? I'm going to reduce that to one. And I'm going to do another measurement. Still got a bit of a hump here at 800. I don't know where I can push that up. So it's from 800 through to 4K. It needs a little push. Uh, but I'm just going to go and give it uh, PEQ. Uh, now it was at 1. It's now going to be going to 2. And we'll see if this pushes this mid-range up a bit.
Yep. Is it too much? Uh, yes, it is, I think. Yes, it is. So we're going to go back to minus three here. So we're going to get rid of that one. We'll get rid of that one. And there's this hump here at 5k. I don't know whether I can suck this out. I'm going to give this a go now. Let me just do another measurement because I've adjusted it. Okay, let me just invert this. I'm going to invert that, and that will probably throw this a mile out, but you don't know. You just got this trial and error. All this is trial and error, for me anyway. I don't go in for. miles out, isn't it? Yeah, so that didn't work, but it was worth a try, wasn't it? Um, so I'm not worried about that green one, but what, we were, what we're trying to do is either push this up at 825, so 825 PQ, 825, roughly. Uh, we do a peak, and we're going to give it a... 5 dB lift, I'm going to make it quite sharp, there we go, so let's measure it, it might not do anything but we'll find out, yep, that will do me, so we can get rid of that one. We can get rid of that purple one. Uh, actually, there's one turned off. That blue one. We want that lilac. So, we're now within a couple of dB, right the way across the range from, what, 50 hertz, right the way across to... let's say 8k and I'm going to see if I can just push this one down this is 5k 5k so we're going to go up here oh come on uh, get rid of that we're going to go to the PEQ on this one we're going to do a peak at 5k uh, and we want to minus 3db 4db and it's going to be Quite a, let's make it five. Okay, we'll see. That might or might not, I don't know. It needs pushing up here a little bit, or this can come down a bit. Uh, whilst I'm at it, I'm just going to go here and we've got five dB. I'm going to go four. And you can see quickly you can. play around with digital sound or processing or system processing Let's have a look oh too much look at that too much um, PQ so that's five let's come back to two Get rid of that red one. Measure. Uh, 
one third and now we're cooking so let's get rid of that purple one the whole thing is flat better than well better than 1 dB right up until 6 or 7 K and then you've got this huge problem here um, which is an artifact of the drive unit I mean that is 10 dB uh, you've got to live with that unfortunately unless I do something really drastic uh, so I'm very pleased with that so now what I've got, up now what I've got to do is record or save this configuration for DSP file save save current configuration um, did uh, D hi-fi wherever it is it is somewhere open baffles let me just swap that OB can you see it there it is it goes. open baffles coaxial and this is going to be um, coaxial with waveguide save so that configuration is now saved the reason I'm saving it is in config 1 here I'm using two mini disks because they're three way uh, as you can see this this one here switched off so I would then <clears throat> once that file would say was saved I would then upload the same file to my second mini disc 24 HD for the other speaker uh, in theory you should do independent speakers left then right and then do sweeps of the pair together uh, and you can play around as a stereo pair uh, to get a, a better sound I suppose uh, but I, I've never bothered so far uh, I, I can't probably hear it you can measure it but I can't probably hear it as a combined stereo sweep uh, so for now I hope that was helpful uh, as you can see it's within 1 dB uh, this was recorded at a different time what I'm showing you now but the file is exactly the same and the resultant sound is very listenable indeed very pleasant to listen to uh, and it transpires the flatter you can get it uh, the better it sounds uh, right the way across the range uh, so there's another little insight into DSP digital sound processing using the mini disc 24 HD so again thanks to all those new subscribers uh, thanks for the comments uh, I will get round to answering them uh, I know that people are interested in this because of the comments I suppose and I keep getting new subscribers so there's more to come so for now make it fun have a play enjoy it and enjoy your music so for now all the best buy us a copy if you coffee if you will speak to you soon bye